Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Mamad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about why Power Apps in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Before going into why Power Apps in Power BI, let's first understand what is Power Apps. What is Power Apps? Power Apps is all about building custom apps for your business. Power Apps is a suite of apps, services, connectors and data platform that provides a rapid application development environment to build custom applications for your business needs. It's about the mobile applications, whether it is Android, iOS or Windows. Using Power Apps, you can quickly build custom business applications that connects to your business data stored either in underlying data platform Microsoft Dataverse, we'll talk about this later on, or in various online or on premises data sources like SharePoint, Microsoft 365, Dynamic 365, SQL Server, and so on. In Power Apps, you can connect to almost 200 plus data sources or Microsoft Dataverse. On continuation with that, apps built using Power Apps provide rich business logic and workflow capabilities to transform your manual business process to digital automated processes. Further, apps built using Power Apps have responsive design and can run seamlessly in browser or on mobile devices, phone or tablet. Power Apps democratize the custom business app building experience by enabling users to build rich feature custom business apps without writing code. Power Apps also provide an extensible platform that lets pro developers programmatically interact with data and metadata, apply business logic, create custom connectors, and integrate with external data. The benefits of Power Apps is Power Apps drives business transformation. It has a 188% of return on investment for the next three years, 72% of retention in app development costs, and 3.2 hours per week average improvement in line of business employee productivity. There are four major components of Power Apps, Canvas app, model-driven apps, portals, and Microsoft Dataverse. We'll talk about this now. The first is Canvas app. Canvas app starts with your user experience, crafting a highly tailored interface with the power of blank canvas and connecting it to your choice of more than 200 data sources. You can build Canvas app for web, mobile, and tablet applications. Canvas app gives you the flexibility to arrange the user experience and interface the way you want it. To allow your creativity and business sense to guide how you want your app to look and feel. Model driven apps. It starts with your data model. Building up from the shape of your core business data and processes into dataverse to model forms, view and other components. Model driven app automatically generates great user interface that is responsive across devices. When you create a model-driven app, you can use all the power of the Dataverse to rapidly configure your forms, business rules, and processes flows. You create a model-driven app, Power App Suite. The next is the portals help you create external facing websites that allow users outside your organization to sign in with a wide variety of identities, create and view data in Dataverse, or even browse content anonymously. Microsoft Dataverse is a data platform that comes with Power Apps and allows you to store and model business data. It is a platform on which Dynamics 365 apps such as Dynamics 365 Sales, Customer Service, Field Service, Marketing, and Project Services automations are built. If you are a Dynamics 365 customer, your data is already in Dataverse. Dataverse allows you to securely store and manage data within a set of standard and custom tables and you can add columns to those tables when you need them. In, when it comes to the pricing, it has two plans. One is a per app plan and per user plan. Whereas runs one app per user is $10 per month per app per user. Whereas this one, the $40 per month is per user per month whereas you can create a number of apps in it. This plan is best for business that want to license each user to run one app at a time with the flexible to stack licenses for each additional app. 
uh, whereas this plan is best for the business that want one license for each user regardless of number of apps they need to run when we can use the power apps in power bi power bi enables data insights and better decision making while power app enables everyone to build and use app that connect to the business data using the power apps usual you can pass context aware data to a canvas app which updates in real time as you make changes to your report now your app users can drive business insight and take actions from right within the power bi report and dashboard now your app users can drive business insights and take actions from right within their power bi reports and dashboards this is how it will look like so when you interact with this one this on the right bottom it is the made up from power apps so it is changing everything when the user interact with other users as well so we'll go like this in our future videos the supported browser for power bi and power apps so there are browsers here microsoft edge internet explorer chrome safari and mozilla firefox these are the top browsers whereas you can view in all the browsers whereas if you want to create and modify it is supported only in two browsers one is microsoft edge and other is the google chrome in safari you must enable cross site tracking preference privacy and clear prevent cross site tracking to use power app visuals there are certain limitations in power apps while using in power bi it is power app visuals isn't supported for guest users if you change the data field associated with the visuals you must edit the app from within the power bi service by selecting the ellipse and then ed selecting edit otherwise the changes won't be propagated to power apps and the app will behave in unexpected ways the power apps visual can trigger a refresh of power bi reports and power bi data sources from within power bi desktop if you write back data from app to the same data sources as a report your changes won't be reflected immediately in power bi desktop changes are reflected on the next scheduled refresh basically using power apps you can write back the data source if you want from power bi service itself you need to share the power apps separately from your report learn about sharing apps you can click on the link given in the description below power bi report server doesn't support the power apps visual the next is power apps visuals doesn't support multi level embedding of power apps in sourgain clouds for example embedding a power bi report with power apps visual to a sharepoint page or further embedding the sharepoint page into a teams channel is in supported on sourgain clouds following limitations apply when using the power bi integration dot refresh function you must create a new app from power app visual in power bi report for this function to be available in the app you must use a source that support direct query and the data connection must be created using direct query method power apps in power bi desktop provides data to power app studio when creating apps but not while editing use power bi web to preview the data while editing apps the power bi mobile app doesn't support microphone control in power apps visual so this is all about the power apps and the usage of power apps when used in power bi and of course there are certain limitations as well if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button if you are not a member of our channel just hit the join button share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video